So today we'll be talking about Virgo Sun in the fifth house. And if you haven't watched my Virgo Sun general video, I would recommend watching that because I cover the other aspects of Sun in Virgo. And in this one, though, we're just going to be talking about what it means specifically in the fifth house. Um, so anyways, Virgo Sun in the fifth house is about receiving recognition for one's work skills or perfectionism because the fifth house is about giving value to others and virgo is about acts of service and it's about details and it's about organization and so when we have the sun in the fifth house um this makes us a showman or a showwoman Somebody that likes to show things to others or present something that will entertain or catch the eyes of others. And when it's in the in Virgo, um, the fifth house shows that we do this through quality of what we do, the quality of things, the quality of our creations, because the fifth house can also be about creations. So people that have the sun in Virgo this is the typical best kind of service employee or like the irreplaceable employee because they do things at such a high quality because this is part of their ego. And also the sun feels very comfortable in the fifth house and it indicates that they are usually able to be number one. And they have this drive and this com competitive nature to them where they want to be the first to achieve something or the, the first in position and they want to be recognized. So a lot of times this can create, you know, employee of the month type people like and people that do things like so well, especially on forms of interpersonal service. So like customer service and like, um, you know, jobs where there is a commission and where they're commissioned to do something whether that is create something or um you know be paid for a for a certain skill that they have a lot of times they can be self-employed and they just have the best quality service out there and at least that's their uh, objective and that's their intention because they want to be number one and it's part of their ego so in terms of careers, uh, since the sun shows career, these people shine in service oriented jobs or jobs that require um, quality and refinement and perfectionism or jobs where they are using utilizing their skills or use utilizing talents. Um, these people have a lot of confidence through practice. They're very self-critical of their performance, and that's what makes them so so well performing in the end. They have so much value as a performer because, or as a just somebody that does things, you know, because they are critical and they they don't they don't assume that they are good. They check the evidence. They check the facts. They 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 want their talent to be something that it can be confirmed you know and they do it themselves you know they look at themselves they they practice a lot anyways um the quality of their work can be very excellent in the eyes of others and it pops out that's what the fifth house influence is about and you're recognized a lot of times for your work and for your acts of service that you do to others this is just how you shine in the world or in the eyes of others. Um, you could be somebody that can receive accolades for the things that you do and that's how you receive attention. Um, or you could like say you had a public platform like on social media and you had a certain niche or a certain career, like you would gain followers through the quality of your work. And like you have like this perfectly branded image and this perfect um, service. And this is because a lot of you guys are Taurus ascendants and Taurus is ruled by Venus, which is about balance, harmony and beauty and attraction. So 
also in romance, because the fifth house rules romance, you are a service based love language. So like acts of service and people that have the service love language or like they need acts of service to feel loved. They really appreciate you because you are like the number one at this kind of stuff. Like basically in a relationship, whether you're male or female um, and in romance, you do things and you serve the other person and that's how you find fulfillment and you actually enjoy doing it and that's like that's like love to you and um you have a lot of power and control over your significant other because if you leave they know that nobody can do the things that you do nor can they do it as well as you did so although you know although you're working and doing acts of service which is not the most you know, carefree or like, um, spontaneous form of love, you have the most powerful or the most control in, in relationships because your love language is so irreplaceable. So this could be like the cook, the chef type, like the person that has a lot of skills and does a bunch of stuff like cleans, cooks, organizes, um, like sets the other person up to, you know, picks out their clothes and like crazy stuff like that, you know, where it's like a almost like a servant. But obviously you like it to be reciprocated as well, but you don't mind doing this for the most part. And then you may you may have a different love language yourself. So but this is just how you go about it. you go about it through service um, in terms of giving it to other people. Um, anyways, that basically sums up sun and virgo in the fifth house it can just be summed up to somebody that wants to receive recognition for their skills or their perfectionism or their work and also they want to be the first to accomplish something in their work and they also want to be recognized uh wait i already said that but they want to um they want to be number one and they do it through skills and practice so anyways if you enjoyed that video or you saw yourself, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And for NATO chart readings or inquiries, check the link in the description. Other than that, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys sometime soon in another video. Peace.